Now, today's two minutes with is for those of you who are looking to buy a house or apartment that's um, either been recently built or recently uh, extensively renovated. Now, it might feel a bit strange to think about getting a building report for a brand new build or a brand new renovation, but um, it actually does make sense because uh, when you walk into a brand new building or renovation and you've got stars in your eyes, it's a bit hard to see past all the shiny new things and you can't really see what's going on um, underneath the hood, so to speak. And also, um, a building inspection for a new build or a brand new renovation is somewhat different to a standard building and repair report. It's actually called a new construction renovation or a new build defects renovation. And it approaches the uh, inspection in a completely different way. What it's looking, what the inspector is looking for, is to make sure that everything that's been done is up to code, up to Australian standards, um, and of a high quality. So they're not looking for um, issues that come about with old age or pests and borers. Uh, they're looking for issues that come around from essentially shonky workmanship. Now the idea of a new building inspection or defects report is to give you peace of mind that everything is as it should be. And it also gives you recourse in case you need to make a claim against the builder's um, insurance. Uh, and uh, if you're asking them to rectify issues, you can even delay the settlement of the property whilst they have that done and you have legal recourse to do so. So yeah, new build inspection report or a new build defects report great thing to get done, essential to get done I should say, um, when you're buying a new build, a new apartment or a recently extensively renovated um, build, just to give you peace of mind. I hope that's useful and I look forward to bringing you some uh, more tips next week.